Hello everybody, Emerald Troll here. Welcome back to another YouTube video. Today I'm going to be doing another book review uh, in the style of a podcast. Spoiler warning for the book Monkey Beach, as it will be the one I will be doing a sort of review on today. Uh, and this book is a mystery slash spiritual awakening novel written by Eden Robinson, who is an indigenous author. Uh, which shows greatly in her writing as there are very strong indigenous elements within this story. Uh, <clears throat> in this book, you follow Lisa as the only main character while she moves through the most important parts of her life in the past and present. Uh, in the past, mostly uh, the death of some of her family members, such as her Mama Moo and her uncle. Uh, the main mystery, though, uh, the main focal point of most of this story uh, revolves around uh, Lisa's brother, Jimmy, and uh, the strange circumstance in which he died. The story will jump back and forth, leading on a trail through Lisa's life in both present and past, slowly painting the whole picture of the story uh, in both the re in both like reality and in the land of like the dead, which is also kind of the spirit realm uh, for at least the um, indigenous group that this story is based around, which is in Kitimat, BC. Uh, and this is all kind of foreshadowed because uh, the the point where you kind of realize that it is mainly about death and dealing with death uh, is brilliantly foreshadowed um, throughout the whole story by Lisa talking to ravens who are the messengers between the spirit realm and the living realm. <coughs> uh, her Mamamoo and her uncle are some of the few people in her life that maintain the beliefs of uh, the actual indigenous culture, um, which is kind of heavily contrasted with most of the other people on the reserve in the first place, uh, as many of them have lost faith in their own culture, uh, just as a part of the time this takes place takes place in, uh, as this is after all the events that happened in the residential schools, it takes place in the present day, and the very destruction of almost all of indigenous culture in the first place, um, which is, I guess, kind of a little bit easier to uh, understand from the indigenous perspective uh, as it's a person who is indigenous who wrote this. Uh, the thing that stood out in this um, book is it was very interesting uh, the way it was written because it will jump frequently from past to present um, in order to slowly reveal like the whole one big story uh, instead of I guess, following several people um, who all kind of have differing opinions or something like that. Uh, and it's always through the eyes of Lisa, uh, which is another thing that makes it highly effective to kind of relate to the character, as you get to learn all about this one character instead of uh, having to focus on so many different characters that it's hard to follow. Uh, <clears throat> Anyways, that's kind of the basic review of the book uh, that I kind of have for this podcast. If you guys want to learn more about it, obviously you can go uh, read the book yourself. I personally would recommend it as I found it to be quite interesting throughout the middle and the end of the book. Um... <clears throat> And I will see you guys all in the next video.